City and welcome back to some more Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last one, we fought off King Jellyfish and cleared up Jellyfish Fields. Now, we do need to go back later because there was a few extra things like the a bowling thing and stuff like that that we can't do yet. So we'll have to head back there later, but we finished the initial part of it and... We also found out that something I didn't know is we can actually enter Patrick and Squidward's house. So we're going to start by doing that and then we're going to head into Bikini Bottom. So yeah, let's start. Let's go just left to right. So let's start with Patrick's house. Let's head up in here and see. Let's see what this has to offer. Because I, I didn't know you could actually go in here, but yeah. Living under a rock. No, that's, that's the life. <laughs> okay, special. But yeah, so... Is there anything special in here? Oh, there's uh, some shiny objects and stuff. I'm just going to break everything in here. Yeah, I didn't actually know you could enter these houses. So I, I think it's pretty cool, honestly, that you can go inside of Patrick and Squidward's house and SpongeBob. We might go back into SpongeBob's base. See, there's a picture of SpongeBob and Patrick here. I don't know if you could do anything with it. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can actually do anything. All right. I, oh. Oh, hey, I found a sock. Okay, I, I just did that on accident just to try it, and yeah. Okay, so there's another sock there. Okay, so let's head out now. Now let's go into Squidward's house next. All right, so now we're going to head over into Squidward's house and see if he... I hope they have, like, the upstairs and stuff, but let's see. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> Ooh, okay, no, I, I didn't mean to skip over his dialogue there, but yeah, I didn't think I didn't know there was gonna be text in here like uh, lines with Squidward. So. I didn't know Squidward they, had a lamp. A lamp? Where do you see a lamp? Oh, is this? They got handsome Squidward. I told you, Nickelodeon really trying to keep up with their memes. Like, did you know that there's like this Squidward creep? Squidward, Oops. I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. I, I don't know what. Oh, wait, he get. Oh, he gives us a golden spatula. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, we'll pick it up in a second. What I was gonna say is, did you know that there's an episode of SpongeBob, like an actual episode? It's newer. There's an actual episode where they included this creepy pasta of Squidward called, I think, Squidward.exe or something like that. They actually included that in an episode. I'm just gonna break all this stuff. And the sock. Wow. Squidward, why do you have so much stuff in here? Hold on. I guess I have to. Yeah, okay. Hey, look, he had a sock and a golden spatula. I'm glad I put. Oh wait, what? Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's funny because that that's a reference to a SpongeBob episode. Wow. That's actually, okay. I didn't know it was going to be a thing. See, they, they have so many little, small little details. But anyways, we're going to pick up the spatula after we beat up Squidward. He cares for one hit. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> like, yeah. But look at all these paintings. All this art. Oh my god, that picture. Um, who are these people? Why does he just have... I don't, I don't even remember... Why does he have a picture of two random fish? I don't remember them specifically. It's just kind of weird. But, yeah, let's pick up the spatula. So, technically, we could go to a different area now because uh, I have ten golden spatulas, so we don't have to go to Bikini Bottom, but since that's the next intended place, we'll just head there. So, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna head straight over to Bikini Bottom. Wait, uh, like, like I said, so Bikini Bottom only takes five golden spatulas, but I have ten, so I could technically go to Goo Lagoon now. But we'll do Goo Lagoon after Bikini Bottom, so it should be in the next few episodes. This, uh, because this probably will take just about as long as Jellyfish Fields, maybe a little longer. I don't really know. Again, I, this is compl completely new to me. This is blind. I've never played Battle for Bikini Bottom, so this is a completely blind playthrough for me. So I really don't know what's going to happen. But let's just head into downtown Bikini Bottom. Let's go. I'm assuming there's going to be a cutscene, so I'll be quiet once that starts up. But yeah. 
downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's going to take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. All right, so yeah, like SpongeBob said, these robots, they, they thought of everything. They took steering wheels. Why would they even take the steering wheels? I don't know. So there's 11 steering wheels, but I noticed this over here. There's a bowling ball. Is that the new power? Okay, why did it just do that? Why is this another SpongeBob? Like, just chilling here. But let's hit this button and see what it does. Oh, and I, oh, I turn into a ball. That's not what I was expecting. Let's read. So it changed it to a SpongeBob. I thought this was going to be the bowling ball power up, but I guess I was wrong. You can roll quickly as SpongeBob, but you can't do anything else. Being her or pressing any button would change you back to normal. Okay. So we gotta hit the let me let me get all the steering wheels I can see around here first. Um actually I, I kinda wanna see since that since that's right there, I kinda wanna see what it's for. I'm guessing these are like the normal grunt enemies of this area. There's also jellyfish here, so. Yeah, we'll head that way afterwards. I want to see what the ball thing is all about first, because that that was just the first thing that caught my eye. So we're going to head that way first. So we open this, roll through. Oh, and the gate will stay open. Okay, cool. Oh. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Dang. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Yo, Gary just saved that man's life. But why were they bodying him like that? They really snuck up and started comboing him. Like, what did he do? He deserved that. Okay, I can't crush, so let's see. What is this? It's called a, a G-Love glove. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm going to just say glove. I'm just going to call it a glove. I get the joke. I get the pun. The best way to deal with them is to bubble bounce from him from above. Okay, so we just basically jump and then do this. That's the best no, way to deal with it. I just... He does not Oh my god. The puns in this game, I swear. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Is this man dabbing? Did I just see him hit the dab because he got saved? He said, he said look at my dab because I saved his life. Like, okay. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, uh, I saw Gary. Is Gary still up there? Because he really just saved a man's life. I don't even know how Gary got here, honestly. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna... Blow that up. Get all these shiny objects. Um, I don't know if Bikini Bottom has another area like how Jellyfish Fields had more and more areas like the caves and stuff. I'm not really sure about this place, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, nothing there. And yeah, so oh, there's another ball here. A lot of hot. Does this change the world? My final message. Ow, oh, jeez. Man, slap me down. Just met the sponge The sponge Okay, let's grab that. Okay, hey, gee. I did not expect that to immediately kill me. Well, we'll turn into a ball in a second. I'm assuming we go straight towards, like, the bank. Oh, there's another stealing A stealing wheel? A steering wheel over here. But, yeah, I didn't expect the hot sauce to kill me. I'm pretty sure that hot sauce is a reference to... Remember when Sandy tried to... Feed SpongeBob the hot sauce, like she pull out his tongue and stuff. It's the really, really hot hot sauce. I think it's a reference to that, but I didn't think it would immediately murder me. Yeah, it's called volcano sauce. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. So, yeah, Can we activate that guy. No. All right, well let's move. Oh, hey, we blew this up. What does it lead to, though? What was the point of this? What? Was there no point? 
Can I jump over the gate? No? What was the point of this? Uh, alright, well. I guess we're gonna turn to a ball and head to here. I so it looks like these guys can blow up all these gates. So I can use him to travel around. So yeah, see, he broke that gate. Okay. So we can use those to travel around. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna activate the button and turn to a ball. I'm assuming we just need to go straight. Wait, hold up, what's this? Oh, I can go up here and land on these guys. Yeah. Oh, I got the shiny. Okay, it was all just for a shiny. Okay, I was gonna say, I'll come back to this if there's more to it, but it didn't look like it. I'm assuming we just need to go straight. Hold on, can I jump when I'm in the ball form? I can jump. Okay, so I can jump over that. Yeah, I'm assuming we just go straight. Okay. So let's head back and hit the button. Whoa. That, did y'all see? Oh, I hit X. I, I see what happened. I de-transformed into the ball, and then I picked it up again immediately, so I just went flying. Okay. So let's hit the button and then just roll straight across. I'm assuming we're going to have like five seconds. Six seconds. Let's go. All right, we made it. It is a checkpoint. Now let's use that guy to blow up. I kind of like being a ball. Around oh. town. Bringing it all. Oh. Oh. oh, wait. So why does it? So when I'm a ball, I just take damage like a new spot. and it doesn't immediately kill me. That's weird. <laughs> Can I go in here? No, you can't bring it in? Around town. Okay, so drop. That's a reference to the technique, technique, technique. It's that episode. The, the bubble stand, yeah. So we got another ball here. Do I need to jump this? Let's hit the button and see what happens with the ball. Let's see where it wants me to go. Let's blow this up first. I'm trying to get as many shiny objects as I can, too. Because like, cause like I've said before, we are going to 100% this game. That is the goal here. So let's hit this. And then a car. Oh, a ramp. I see. So we have to... Yeet! Oh, I made it. Let's go. Okay, uh, let's de-transform. There you go. Whoa! Oh, can I... Will this close the window? I'm thinking. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm the open window maniac! Right, let's oh, body this fuck. guy. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I lost the robot to the back of his head. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I know I've beaten up so many fish. No. Whoa. So that red line's out of bounds. Yeah, like, look, sir, I'm sorry. I know I've beaten up a lot of fish, but I didn't mean to throw that metal. Ro he really just ignored me. You know what? Yeah, uh -huh. ignore me again. Let's see what happens. Ignore me again. Ig ignore me again. Let's see what happens. Do it again. I dare you. Do it. Anyways. Um, I don't blame him for ignoring me. I kind of did just body him. I did save his life, though, technically. I just, you know, hurt him in the process. But it still saved his life, though. Let's blow up that guy. Dang, I blew up all these guys here. Okay, there's like three of y'all. Okay, there's so many. Jeez. Alright. It just started a chain, but... That blew up that gate. Oh, is this that one area? I think it is. Let's go back between these buildings. Things we can fit there. Um, we're just gonna run around and see what we need to do. I want to do the ball stuff first, though, so that's why I'm here. Oh, I need to sneak up. The door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Uh, anyone who lives there? Why? Why are you mad at someone for locking their door? <laughs> like, what are you talking about, Bubble Bunny? All right, let's head on these platforms then. Oh, a sock. Okay, cool. Hey, you. Can I get to that? Laundry. But let me tilt this building all the way like this, and then run and jump. Can I make it to that? Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> I did not. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, why did it? I'm so confused. Why did that other one immediately kill me? But this one has like these ones angry. haven't even like they haven't killed me at all. They've only done damage. So why did that other one immediately kill me? Like frame one, I died. Hi, Gary. Oh, it's good, Gary. Meow? Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. <laughs> I mean, not Meow. done. Oh, hey. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? <sighs> I can get through this. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. 
All right, so it looks like this is where we get Sandy as a character playable. I don't know if there's anyone else playable. I know in the multiplayer mode, you can play as SpongeBob, Squidward, Gary, Patrick, Sandy. Like you can play as a bunch of people. I'm not sure how it works in this mode, but it looks like there's also another area up there. It's called the rooftops. So we'll probably head there in a second because I did want to check the other way from where Mrs. Puff was at. But I will go up there because it looks like with Sandy I can take out those cannons and stuff. Like the one on that roof right there. It looks like I can take that out with Sandy. So let's let's be Sandy. So it looks like, yeah, look, I'm Sandy now. I don't know what her moveset is. Let's see. She got a karate kick. She got some karate chops. Okay. Oh, she can. Oh, that's cool. She can levitate. I like how it sounds like a helicopter. It's a rope. Let's see. Yeah, I can glide across. They're holding A. So let's get this. So yeah, you play Sandy. I don't, I don't know if there's different characters per area, if that's how it works. So like, can I not ever switch to Patrick since I'm here? Okay, that was a weird glitch, but is that how it works? Or can you not glide? You can glide after a double jump. I just did it wrong. Okay, well, can I make it back up? Wait. I think I can do it. Hold on, I'm gonna try this. I almost made this jump just now. Let's go, I made it. All right, let's go back up here. So, yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to switch to Patrick. Or is it just like certain bus stops change to certain characters? I don't really know how it works. But I guess we'll find out if I can become Patrick. So, yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, I wanted to just run around up on the rooftop. But, yeah, it looks like the rooftops is the new area that leads to a lighthouse. So, it's kind of like Jellyfish Fields, how there is multiple areas. That's what, that's what it's looking like. So, yeah. Wait, what did that say? That said something. Oh, press B to- Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's cool! Yo, Sandy's kind of dope! <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't know she could do all this stuff. Can I lasso that guy down there? No, okay. But yeah, she really got the karate moves, too. That karate chop, that kick. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, hit him with them combos. Like, Alright, anyways. Um, what is going- Can I go in here? I can, but it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um... Let's double jump, glide over here, and then glide up here, and then run around. Looks like I need to go this way. Well, if we get that golden spot, what's that text? Is I'm assuming I need to lasso that too, because like, look, I can lasso all these guys. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Make good use of all these. What is this? What does the sign want me to say? You can chop. A karate kick. Okay. Also, I noticed some of the words aren't like spaced out. Like karate kick, they didn't have a space, which is weird. I don't know if that's probably a, just a typo thing. It's happened a few times. Do I need to lasso those guys? Is that what it's gonna tell me? Yeah, I can lasso an object. Okay, I already saw. Yeet, yeet, yeet. The la okay, that's a cool ability, honestly, the lasso thing. I'm assuming that I'm gonna lasso that and swing across. I'm not even gonna read the sign because I'm built different. Let's go. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I knew it. It's because uh, in the movie video game, Patrick had a similar ability, but he would lick the freezy fruit and swing across with that. So, yeah. But look, we're gonna we're about to get two golden back. Okay, I already know how to lasso. Come here. Oh, you saw I lassoed all his hands together? That's cool. Is there a cannon? Up? No, there's a thing that spawns robots, though. So this should beat it. <laughs> okay, let's run before it hurts me, okay. Um I need to go up here. Built different? Okay. Sandy really is built different in this game though, that's all I'm saying. Let's go this way. Where do I go? <laughs> um Oh, oh, okay, I see. So I have to swing from thing to thing. Built different. Built different. All right, there we go. I made it. I'm assuming this box leads to that one on the ground. So I can probably come up here as SpongeBob. So yeah, we're gonna... Can I go take out that cannon, actually? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> Let's glide over here. There was stuff over here, dude. But you can take out the cannon. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna get this golden spatula. Wait, can I not... Can I get back up? I might have to go back around. Yeah, I... I Oh, there's a sock up there. Um, I'm gonna go back around, and then I'll meet y'all when I'm back up there, and then say what I was gonna say. So yeah. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing. Whoa! What? <laughs>
back up. I didn't think about it. I'm assuming that that's where this box takes you, though. But I just I just came all the way back up. It was fun to swing again, though. But, yeah, let's go get this golden spatula now. Oh, and I know Patrick's sock is over there. How do we get to that, though? Do I need to swing to it? You know what? Let's do it because now I can. I know I can immediately get back up. So let's try to swing over there. I think, yeah, this is what I need to do, isn't it? Can we... Lot. Yeah, look at that. And this is how you get the sock. All right, so we're going to grab that. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. And then, wait, can I, hold on, am I that, am I built that different? Can I, can I, let's go, wait, oh, oh, I almost missed. Let's go, I didn't even need the box, because I'm just built different, man. I'm telling you, I'm built, I'm built immaculate. I'm built absolutely, I'm on a different scale of build than y'all, I'm just saying. Anyways, um, we got the golden yeah, spatula. Baby. So now, let's head back. I want to switch back to Spongebob for this. Cowabunga, alright. We're going to switch back to Spongebob and then go back towards like the beginning. Um, that is probably going to be around it for the episode. So we'll head up there, which should be the rooftops. We'll head there to the next, in the, in the next episode. But yeah, now we know all those little Texas symbols are where you swing around. Bringing it around town. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you like swing. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to tiptoe on my Jordans. Can I, can I not damage? Oh, I gotta do that and then run away. Okay, yeah, that's what it was. I love opening presents. It didn't hurt all. It didn't blow them all up. That's fine. I kind of wanted to get up here. Hello? Can I get up? Can I not get up there? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. Wait, is there something? There's something in here. Oh, another sock. Okay, cool. What was that on the wall? It's, it says hi. <laughs> that's a that's a little hidden thing. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little secret from the I guess the developers. They're like, hi. What's good, developers? Thank you for making this game so I can make some content on the channel. Because I'm actually loving this game. It's really fun. And it's it's kind of just like, you know, a relaxing game. Because it's not difficult uh, or anything like that. It's a SpongeBob game, so you wouldn't expect it to be too difficult. But it, it's just a fun little game to play and relax, you, you know? I'm having fun with the series. Oh, and I'm at the first nautical bank. All right, let's... Where's Mrs. Puff? We're going to... Okay, yeah, we're back over here where this... Where all this was. Which is where I wanted to come to, so... Oh... There's a cannon. Let's see. Can I make a hit piece? Is that one supposed to make it hit these towers? Uh, can it even hit the towers? I'm gonna stand here and see see if it'll shoot. At this. It hit it. It hits it, but it doesn't do anything. Um, what am I supposed? Do I need to make it? Wait, do I need to blow up the statue? Oh, wait. Oh, it hit it. Okay, so it can shoot the tops of those towers, which is what I need it to do. And there's a button on that one. I'm assuming I need to hit this button. What is that? Uh, if I can hit the button. There you go. It looks like I need to hit all the buttons. So I need this cannon to shoot the top of all these. So let's stand back here like this. It should hit the top. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, it hit me too. But that, that is what I need to do. So let's take out all these towers first. And then we'll head over to uh, like hitting all the buttons. So we're gonna get it to hit that first run. There we go. Hit this one. We need to run like over here. Wait, did it shoot one? Hello? Can you shoot? Oh, please? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, there. Wait, that's not gonna hit. Okay, there, that should hit. That one should be it. No? Uh, what do I do with this? I gotta make it. Okay, it, it's getting close enough. It's just not hitting perfect. Let's back up. That should that, that should do it. No. All right. Well, what if I just? Okay, I, I can just sacrifice myself for that one. Okay. So now we're gonna hit all these buttons and see what that does. And yeah, maybe it'll give us another golden spatula. Let's see if that. If it does, and that's three golden spatulas for this episode. We still got some time left, though. We're not going to head to the next area. Oh, look, you can see all the houses. Oh, we... Oh, okay. Just drops an anvil. When it did give us a golden spatula, let's go. Three in one episode. We're doing good. Making some good progress today. Let's climb up. To this man's head. Who is this? <laughs> I just thought about it. Like, who? Is this, like, the mayor? Bikini Bottom? The founder? I don't even know. Who is this? Have they ever done an episode? Oh, they have on like the founders of Bikini Bottom. It was like SpongeBob's ancestors and Patrick's. Yeah, I remember that episode. Like all, all basically every SpongeBob character had an ancestor that looked just like. Them. Um, 
it was the idiot friends episode but yeah all right. so there's the mountains there's spongebob's house and all that i didn't know you could actually see all that from here um it doesn't look like there's much else for us to do let's just walk around getting shiny objects there's yeah we're coming up on 30 minutes so we got a few, we got a little bit more time though before we need to go anywhere let's just kind of collect everything we can maybe explore the the roofs and stuff a little bit more as sandy but for now, I do need shiny objects. That's what we're going for. Didn't I get all these? Oh, I died, I think, though. <laughs> that's why. I didn't know you could travel between the buildings, though. So, that's also another thing. Can I, can I eat it? No, I gotta go around to get that. Okay. Well, let's hit that. Okay. And, yeah, we're gonna end off this episode soon. But not yet. Um, can I get this? One? There we go. I'm gonna jump. Hit it. I already got the, the shiny object from there, so I don't need to worry about it. I don't think I need to turn into a ball again. Yeah, because this is already open. Uh, this. This is where I was with Sandy just now, and I jumped on the car. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay, there's a guy there. So let me go around and blow that up. There's a guy there, too. How do I get in there? I don't know. I, and it looks like I can't actually go into the bank, which I thought I could, but I guess not. It's just kind of here. Calm <laughs> down. Put the money in the bag. Put it in! Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much else to do here, but I don't want to head up to the next area yet. We'll save that for next episode. We did get three golden spatulas today, though. That's pretty good progress, I'd say, so kind of satisfied with that. But I just want to explore as much as I can. I might go back on the roofs as Sandy to see if there's anything else I was missing. So let's do that, and then we'll end off the episode. Let's head over there. You know what? What happens if I hit go into the box as a ball? Roll, roll, roll the sponge. <laughs> roll, roll, roll the sponge. Wait, what is this? I can't bounce on it. Where is it taking? Oh! I can get back on the roof like this. Wow, they have multiple ways to get back on this roof. So I can just bounce? Or Wait, what's the box for then? Why would I use the box if I can just bounce? Okay, well, let's see where the box takes me. It must be that. Yeah. What's the point then? <laughs> Because I could just, I can literally just bounce on that little trampoline to get back to this roof where the box is at. Why would they do that? <laughs> I don't understand the design concept there. Because like, yeah, I could take the box, but that takes me to a loading zone. And this is much faster just to do this. Like, what was the point? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, well, there's some underwear up there. I don't, did I go up there ever? I, I don't know. I guess we're going to backtrack a little bit. And just kind of explore around. See what we can find. But it doesn't look like anything too interesting I missed. So, let's checkpoint. So, let's float back over here. Let's get these shiny objects on this roof. I guess. Oh, and there's a sock. Look at that. Okay. Cool. We got another sock. All right. That's a good find. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? You wearing SpongeBob's underwear and wearing Patrick's socks. Sandy, what's up with you? That's all I'm saying. You, like... <laughs> Girl! <laughs> Anyways, um... What does this trampoline take me to? Uh, up? Up here? Is that... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I don't get why you would need that box, though. That That's the thing that still confuses me. Unless that trampoline wasn't there at first. But, like, the fact that it can be there doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Sea needle. Oh, look, I can open that area if I use shiny objects. Well, we're not going to go there yet. We're going to head the intended way. And then maybe come back to the sea needle. Um, <laughs> yeah, not, it's looking like I didn't miss anything, really. I guess we can at least open this path. But we're not going to go there. Yeah, it's right. It's right. Let's just remember, it's right, like, straight across from the... From the, the exit to get to the rooftops. So we're going to head back here. So, it said rebuild the bridge, but this is literally just a gate. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, let's end it off there. Because we got a lot of socks today, which is good. We got three golden spatulas, and it's been about 30 minutes. And we, looks from the looks of it, completed this entire area. So, yeah, well, not all of Bikini Bottom, obviously, but the ground level until we get to the rooftop. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to end it off there. So... Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video that much, drop consider dropping it down into your favorite playlist. And yeah, make sure you share my videos around because we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. So share it to your grandma, your grandpa, your co-workers, your manager, everybody. Dang, okay, Sandy D's. 
Like, yeah, she, <laughs> Sandy just threatened y'all. She said, hey, y'all better do her. Beat you. <laughs> anyways, yeah. Look, you see Sandy, she said, I'm built different. You see her anyways. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next one. So, till then, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day.